hello everyone so today I am going to implement this uh, revolver so as you can see uh, we have uh, instead of the rifle we had before now we have a revolver so I'm going to uh, see how to integrate the same uh, uh, how to integrate the revolver with the same animation system we have so initially I'm gonna try this with uh, uh, with some dynamic uh, like IK based systems and transform modify bone based system to adapt the same existing set of animations to the revolver and then I'm going to try with a different set of animations especially made for the revolver and see which approach will work right so let's see how to do those things today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support okay so in the last episode we worked with this revolver and as we stopped it uh, it was not perfect so actually it, it looks very bad to be honest so yeah we are going to continue with the pistol today so but before continuing with the pistol I wanted to show you something so if I so uh, I have renamed the blueprint uh, animation blueprint to char bpa character new and i have used the same animation blueprint for the npc character as well the reason is like uh, last time i was using two different blueprint anim animation blueprints and had to do twice changes i do for npc and player so that's why i decided to go with only one animation right mm, so here i have added some transform modify bone effect uh, bone nodes to make it pro work with the revolver but by if I keep them and switch back to AK this is how it looks it looks really bad see this is not what I want this doesn't look good at all so I thought of just getting again I just thought of getting rid of these transform modify bones and I decided to use a different aim offset for the revolver so let me just ignore these and connect like this right now it I can see it properly and it works nice okay so yeah now yeah even if I change the guns in the middle the character should be should uh, be able to I should be able to properly use it without having any odd animations so that's why I decided to create a different aim offset for the revolver as well and I have already shown how to create an aim offset in previously in the series so I'm not going to show that step here but this is the pistol oh here I have attached a preview weapon but AK which is not required here right removed it okay so this is the aim offset for the pistol and we can use it in the animation low print Let, uh, later on let's implement a dynamic switch here but for now let me use a This is connected pitch here. Let me test without 
having a dynamic switch in let's test and see how it looks oh we are still the using the rifle let's use the revolver This is not correct. All right. The reason is here this aim offset is added on top of this uh, AK-47 aim idle standing aim animation because this is an additive one. So yeah, in the upper body. So what we can do is here instead of this one, I need to use the pistol idle animation I should have it revolver a idle stand right this one you need to use that okay now it works right so here is the oh wait here still uh, the idle animation is wrong but the aiming animation is correct see it's okay so for the idle animation what we have to do is we have to use a different um, gun holding animation at the moment uh, we don't really uh, other than the aiming we don't really have any other animation for the gun holding part of the upper body we, this animation pose coming from the idle uh, this eight wheel locomotion animation we have which is this one see this set of animations so for a pistol what can we do all uh, right here we can do something like this we can use this layered blend for bone the same um, the same node that i have used to blend this uh, aiming idle animation and the aiming idle animation of ak-47 or the aiming idle animation of the revolver okay uh, so let's try the same thing here i am using the layer setup spine 3 as the bone name let me just duplicate the same note here connect it like this this is only for testing so i'm going to keep the blend weight as one and here as the blend for zero mm, wait yeah nothing here let me use this revolver stand in idle animation right now if i don't have that i should get the normal uh, the rifle animation so with that i get the revolver idle animation now it should properly work see can move around run crouch everything is working and I can shoot oh one issue oh wait I think here I have connected the rifle animation yeah see everything is working fine okay so but this is not dynamic here i'm manually setting those things so what i have to do is find in a way to do it manually so how can we do that okay first let's go to the blueprints and guns 
here I'm gonna set up an enumerator the reason to set up an enumerator is so that I can implement a animation blend layer blending based on the enumeration so gun type right here gun types description first run ak revolver those are the only two guns that I have at the moment uh, so I'm gonna keep only these two now for now right uh -huh. right now in the guns oh actually this is an M16 but this is the main parent gun here let's add another variable let's call it gun type compile this should be the type of gun type right uh, yeah let's leave this as ak for now even though this is not an ak uh, this is an actually an M16, but yeah, I am using AK for the character. I am planning to use AK for the character. And for the revolver, I am going to change it to revolver, right? Okay, uh, now let's go here. And instead of Here we have play revolver stand idle. We also need AK forty seven idle stand as well. Right, and here we have AK forty seven M stand and revolver M stand. So we can have a blend by enum blend by gun type blend process by gun type mm -hmm. here enum value in the gun type enum value 0 means AK 2 means revolver so we need to have Oh, it's a byte. Let me promote this to a variable. Oh, it's a byte. Let's add a variable. Con type. In the type of gun type. Can we use it now? Okay, here we can select whether it is uh, AK or uh, revolver. Right now, here we have default pose, revolver pose, AK pose. So this is revolver pose, default pose. I'm gonna set AM stand idle for AK AM stand for the default pose also I'll link that oh sorry 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 for the default pose ah yeah okay now we can connect this and we can do the same for the 
Yeah, we can't have two outputs for here as well. If I connect here, see, we only can have only one output. So I have to duplicate this. Right, and here, this is idle stand, this is same in stand. So AK47 idle stand should go to the default. And to the AK force. And the revolver idle stand should go to the revolver force. Oh, wait. Okay, oh, sorry, not the aim idle stand. We should use stand idle. As the gun type, let's change it to revolver. See, now when I change this to revolver, we have the proper animation for both shooting and normal animation right so if I change the gun here manually to AK and here to AK Now see, we have the proper animation. Oh, this is not the idle animation I should have used. I think I should use This one. Let's try using that. Okay, and it is working. We can change it now, uh, but still not dynamic. So I think I will now attempt that in the next episode, how to make it dynamically change. So we have everything set up now in the character and animation blueprint, see? all we have to do is automate in this process as the character change the gun okay so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download through the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club See you in another episode. Goodbye.